This Wednesday at the Asylum, the most innovative high-risk athletes in wrestling compete in the most innovative high-risk match in wrestling with the phenomenal AJ Styles, Michael Shane, and Kazarian battle for the X Division Championship in Ultimate X. disadvantage or does it raise his level of performance i think it raises his level of performance and don i'll tell you right now there's no honor amongst thieves so you better watch out for those guys when they see that belt they want to care if that's my friend or not i want the belt over everything else fox fox graphic at the top of your screen illustrates the time remaining in the match nine title bouts here on impact 10 minute time limit if necessary a judge will render a decision and our Whoa. judge our judge this week, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And I know that he's going to be your guest, Jeff, later in this broadcast on the Six Points of Impact. The veteran champion, Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, yes. And he had a lot of interesting comments, not only about what Jeff Hardy's doing here, but about the king of the mountain, Jeff Jarrett. Don't miss it. You know, it was a very memorable Wednesday at the Asylum. Jeff Hardy accepting Dusty Rhodes' proposal, joining the TNA roster. In addition to that, we will recap later in this broadcast both the Sabu Abyss no disqualification match where we saw the return of Raven and that incredible six sides of steel, the NWA World's Tag Title bout between the Naturals and AMW as you see AJ Styles using his strength there to take Jarrell Clark, even though he was in the clutches of the submission move, and drive him into the turnbuckle. A lot of times you cannot believe how powerful AJ Styles is. It's just unbelievable sometimes where he pulls from inside an inner strength and comes up with it. You just saw a good example now, but right now, Jarrell Clark has got AJ in a really fix as far as the ropes are concerned. Also keeping an eye in this match, Don, on the condition of AJ Styles' knee and that knee injury that he suffered a week ago Wednesday prevented him from wrestling this past Wednesday at the side. I think it was a precautionary move. Oh, it was a good move on AJ Styles' part. He makes so many decisions by emotion, and you know AJ normally would come at heck or high water, he would be in that ring, but in this situation, he made the right move. There, there was no benefit to him being in there to re-hurt that knee, especially with Ultimate X. Of that move, what springing move. off the ropes, connecting with the inverted DDT. Hurt his shoulder right there, though, guys. You can see him clutching there, the left shoulder. He hit it just wrong. I hope that's not something serious. I think it's also the after effects from the submission move that was applied earlier by Jarrell Clark. Oh, and Clark oh, going right for the knee. knee. I guess it's not surprising that Clark would try and focus his offense on that previously injured knee. Attempt at the side rush and leg sweep. Stop and a block by Styles with a try and double underhook into the air. Look at this! Oh, Look at the no. Styles clap! Oh. Oh, he's got it! One, two, Stalin! We talked about the how innovative he is. Coming up with a completely new way to get into the Styles class. It does not surprise me one bit because you got to realize, guys, he was born the son of a Marine. He can adapt and improvise better than anybody else. 
And here come Kazarian and Michael Shane down the entrance ramp to confront the phenomenal one. Keep in mind, it's this Wednesday when this man, AJ Styles, faces Kazarian and Michael Shane in Ultimate X.